Primrose Lane. Life's a family on Primrose Lane. Just a family on Primrose Lane. Do that. Want a bet? Not bad for a girl. Mom, I'm gonna go rap with the guys. We may just straighten out the system. Why didn't you tell me they're hot? Well, I figured any fellow smart enough to straighten out the system would know that. See ya. Okay. Watch those cookies. Too hot to handle. That's my big brother. Come on. Hi, Brian. Hi, Mom. This is my new friend, Maria. Hello, Maria. Hi. After school, we went to see where Maria lives. Now she came to see where I live. Good, I'm glad. We're going to play stuff in the backyard. Fine. Want some milk first? Okay. I like soda better, but Ramon says I have to drink milk. Ramon's a big brother. Mom, can Maria stay and eat with us tonight? Of course. Now we bet. Bet what? Well, Ramon and I bet matchsticks. Dad, we're playing a new game called stud poker. Maria's teaching me. Who taught you, Maria? My brother, Ramon. And your parents don't mind? No. They got dead. Maria just lives with her brother. She takes care of him. He works all day digging holes for sewer pipes. But he comes home almost every night. How old is Ramon? 21. He's very strong and very smart. He went to high school almost a whole year. It's 9 o'clock. Won't he be wondering where you are? Oh, no, senor. I come home any time I want. So does Ramon. Boy, is she lucky. Okay, Brian, time for your bath. Let's go. See what I mean? Yeah. I guess I'll go home now. Where do you live, dear? On the other side of the freeway. It's not far. The freeway's at least a mile from here. The only scary part is through the dark tunnel. I ran as fast as I can. Well, you won't have to run tonight because I'm going to drive you home. That would be nice. See you at school, Maria. Yeah. Thank you for dinner. It was very good. You have a clean house. When I grow up, I'll have a house just like this. And I'll eat good things with my children. Like you do. Sure you will, Maria. I'm so glad you could visit us, Maria. Come again soon. You know, Mom, I like having a family, even if we do have a lot of rules. <laughs> Your brother must be home. The lights are on. It doesn't matter. I have a key. I stay home alone lots of times. I'm not scared. Wait a minute. You've got your book. Mom, I'm home. Hey, 
buddy. Where you been, huh? I was playing with my new friend, Brian. He's an angler, but he's okay. I'm Chad Smith, Brian's father. Ramon Sanchez, Maria's brother. Toreo, Lopez, Mr. Smith. Hello? Mr. Smith brought me home with a scar. I had supper at their house. Uh, gracias. Hope she wasn't too much trouble. No trouble at all. Okay, Maria, you say thank you and go to bed, huh? Okay, bye. Thanks for driving me home. Good night, Maria. Good night. Buenas noches, senor. No, but go ahead. Is the work in those bombings in the barrio? What else? Three more last month. But they've been lucky. Nobody's been hurt, just cars and windows. But sooner or later... By sheer accident, I may have walked into something last night. Like what? Three young Chicanos, eight-inch pipes, pipe nipples. A gunpowder and a timing device, and you have a bump. Ramon Sanchez. Name mean anything to you? No, never heard of him. Did he know you were a cop? No, I'm just Brian's father bringing Ramon's little sister home. Take a look. Suspects? Yeah. Kids in and out of trouble in the barrio that I have good information on. He was there? Leo Torreos, a student. Real bright. There's another one. George Lopez. I could have figured him. Nothing but trouble since he was 12. Ramon's not there. I'm relieved. Maybe it's his first time. You'll be doing him a favor stopping him before he kills somebody. This must be rough on you. Because they're my people. Chicano power. You're right, it's rough. But I knew what it was going to be when I joined the department. How do you want to handle it? Can you meet me around 12 to get the search warrant? OK. This might be a big nothing. They might have been working on the plumbing. Yeah. Maybe Ramon, but not Torreos and Lopez. Sergeant Smith. You a cop? We have a warrant to search the premises. Hey, Blanco, they give you a gold medal for busting your own people? Hey, cop, what you expect to find? Up against the wall. You, know, you better do what he says. He knows how to kill people. They teach him. Hey, Sergeant, you always use a little child to get in the house. No, but we do what we have to to stop a bombing. Sergeant? Gunpowder, with a time clock and a couple of fuses, all they need. Senor Smith, when is it? Hello, Maria. Is Brian here with you? Maria, get back to bed. Ramon, por qué? Senor Smith is not a friend. He's a cop. Brian's father? Get them in the car. Read them their rights. 
Hey, Anglo, since when do Chicanos have rights? What about her? She'll be all right. Okay, out. Ramon! I'll be okay. You still got enough Chicano blood left in you to watch out for Maria? I guarantee. You put your clothes on, Maria. You'll be coming with me. Hi, sweetie. Where have you been, darling? You ready? We arrested Maria's brother and a couple of his friends. Maria's brother? Why? We found the makings of some bombs. We'll file a complaint with the DA. Ramon will be arraigned tomorrow. Where's Maria? I took her down to Juvenile Hall. Oh, that poor child. I wish I could have brought her here, but when you're on a case, you can't get involved. Even if she's just a little girl? I guess I wouldn't have been much of a policewoman. for me to come here. He mad at me? You know. Hi, Brian. Hi, Mom. Maria came back to school today. Well, that's nice. Is your brother home? My brother's out on bail. Maria, how would you like to go shopping with me today, hmm? I do not think so, Senora. We could look at some pretty dresses. My brother would not like me to go with you. Even just to look at pretty dresses? And Mary Jane's? Perhaps just to look? Not me. I'm not going shopping. OK, Brian, you can stay here. We won't be long. Come on, dear. OK. Are the shoes comfortable? They're called Mary Jane's. Once my brother buy them for my birthday. <laughs> She'll wear them home. Maria, I'd like very much for us to be good friends. Could we? Si, senora. Hi. Mom home yet with Maria? No. Where'd she go? Oh, she took her shopping. Oh. Trying to buy off her feeling of guilt about the Chicanos. I think she's just trying to be nice to a kid. Same thing. Hi. I got a new dress, see? And white tights and Mary Jane's. Well, they're just beautiful. Yeah, pretty neat. I liked you better when you didn't look so much like a girl. I'm sorry. No, I'm glad. I got my microscope set up. Want to look at stuff? OK. Are you okay? Look at me. Brian's mother bought me a new dress and tights and Mary Jane's. Do you think I'm beautiful? Maria, take the stuff off and put on your own clothes. We're going home. I can't keep my new dress. My Mary Jane's. I said take the stuff off right now, please. Mr. Sanchez, please let her keep them. We don't want anything from your family. I searched the whole neighborhood looking for Maria. This is the last place I hope to find. But finally, I look. Well, we only wanted to do something nice for a friend of Brian's, that's all. I take care of her since she is four years old, and I will go on taking care of her. What if you're in jail? Mr. Sanchez, she's not a Chicano and not an Anglo. She is a child. Senora, I'll put your dress on a hanger so it won't get messed up. I'm sorry, Maria. 
Maria, you never take anything from these people. And you never come back to this house again. Nothing bothering you? Maria. She's not your concern. I'm still concerned. Yeah, so am I. You know Sergeant Santos? Pete Santos, sure. Well, his wife Dolores can't have any children. But a couple of years ago, they were so sure they could. They built a child's bedroom. You think they would adopt Maria? Uh, no, I can't answer for them. But all any good detective can ask for is a lead. Officers Smith and Blanco. Oh, I didn't hear your car. I coasted in. I thought maybe you were asleep. Trial's over. And the verdict? Guilty. Torres and Lopez got three to five. And Raymond? One to three, first offense. Hello. Oh, Mike. Oh, it's okay. You called Pete Santos. That's great. I'm sure I can have a probation officer bring Maria out to see them. We'll be there, too. Three o'clock, all right? All right, tell Pete we'll be there. Well, what was that all about? Mike Blanco talked to Pete Santos. They want us to bring Maria out to meet Pete and his wife. You mean the Santos might take her? Pete has to convince Dolores, and someone has to convince Ramon. That'd be wonderful. Marie? Gracias, senora. You'll have some lemonade, Mrs. Smith. Yes, thank you. The lemons are from their own trees. Pete's a Sunday farmer. You have real trees with lemons? Two. And one peach tree. Once I had a peach tree, it was this little. I watered it every single day. But it got dead anyway. My brother said it got dead because the dirt wasn't good. I guess stuff can't grow if the dirt isn't good. Maria, I'd like to show you something. OK. It's a child's room. We never used it. I made most of the furniture. It's the most beautiful room I ever saw. And it's been empty too long. Maria, would you like this to be your room? You want me? Oh, yes, very much. If you could be happy here. It's you, huh? Well, I have nothing to say to you. Maria's outside with a probation officer. Why, you bring her here? I wanted to talk to you. I couldn't bring her to the jail, so I got the judge's permission to use his chambers. She's all right? Yes. But I hope we could do something about her future. Something better than juvenile hall or a foster home. Oh, yeah, well, you know, I do not want to go to jail. I do the best I can for her, you know? The Santos want to adopt her. They had no children of their own. Santos is a cop. They can give her a good home, a chance to grow up in decent surroundings. Maria will have a father and a mother. I am Maria's father and mother. In jail? Look it, I don't have to talk to you. I don't think there's any losses I have to talk to you, is there? No. 
I'll get Maria. Maria, will you come in, please? Ramon! Oh. <laughs> you look beautiful. You too. Uh, they treat you okay in that place? The juvenile hall? That's what it's called. I know. They're nice, only you gotta line up for everything. It's just like in jail. I get lonesome for you. I get lonesome for you, too. But uh, there's lots of kids there. You have lots of friends, right? They're lonesome, too. They don't have mothers and fathers, either. Yeah. Well, the Anglo there, he says you can go live with this cop, Pete Santos, but uh, you don't want to do that, do you? No. You sure? I just want to live with you. Yeah, but it might be a long time before I can get out. I'll run away and hide. When you get out, everything will be nice like before. <laughs> nice like before. Who wants to live in a fancy house? We have to eat at a special time and go to sleep at a special time and wear dresses you're scared to get dirty. Yeah. Well, uh, you go now, and I write you every week. I'll write back, only it will be printing, because I don't write so good. <sighs> You be a good girl, okay? Okay. Bye-bye. You wait outside, Maria. Well? Well. Pete Santos can have Maria. I'll sign anything you want. Bob and Cindy go to bed. Nah, they met me at the door. Give you a hard time? Uh, they were kind of shaken about Ramon and the other Chicanos being sentenced. Well, those bombs might have killed a lot of people. They know, but kids still identify with the underdogs. Come in. Dad, we must have sounded like a couple of rockheads. Well, you did shake me up a little. You didn't have to get involved with Maria, Dad. She wasn't your problem. Except that she's people. And what kids are trying to say is that people have got to care about people. And while we're talking about it, you're out doing it. Night, Dad. Good night. Night. Good night. All in all, it was a pretty nice day. I'm kind of looking forward to tomorrow. <laughs> 